Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. So today I come up with a new project, which is Smart Plant Watering System. So what we are going to do in this project? So here I am using soil moisture sensor and the relay. So I have here soil moisture sensor, relay board, and the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So using this. So using this, I'm trying to find out the moisture content of the soil. So based on the soil moisture content, we're creating here the automation. So what is that automation? So this automation is basically, whenever the soil is dry, we are trying to turn on the pump automatically. And whenever the soil is wet, that means the moisture percentage is more, then we'll turn off the pump automatically. So for this, I'm using MicroPython and the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here we are building this smart plant monitoring system. That means we will turn on the pump based on the soil moisture sensors data. But we can't directly turn on the pump using the Raspberry Pi Pico. So in order to turn on the pump, we need to use the relay module. So here you can see in the circuit diagram, I have used one single channel relay module and one soil moisture sensor as well. So we'll see the circuit diagram step by step and let's just see how I have connected the soil moisture sensor as well as the relay module. So first of all, we'll see how I have connected the soil moisture sensor. So as you can see on the screen, soil moisture sensor has four pins. On the left hand side, you can see VCC, ground, digital output and analog output. So here, if you can see here, so I have connected VCC of the soil moisture sensor to the 3.3 volt of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So ground of the soil moisture sensor is connected to the ground of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. And now here I haven't used the digital output pin. Here I have used the analog output pin. So the analog output pin is connected to the ADC0 of the Raspberry Pi Pico board, which is GPIO26. So if you don't know which are the ADC pins and all, then you have to see the pin out of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So if you wanted to know more about it, I have already made a video on that. You can see that video. So you can see that video in the I button. Now, here you can see, I have connected this analog output pin to the GPIO26, which is ADC zero pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. And now you know that soil moisture sensor has two more pins at the end. If you, if you have used the soil moisture sensor, then you can connect these pins like this. There is no polarity or something, you can connect it directly. So this is the part of the soil moisture sensor you need to insert it into the soil in order to see whether the soil contains the moisture or not. So here I'm using single channel relay module. If you can see here, I'm using the single channel relay module because I'm going to control only one pump. That's why I'm using the single channel relay module. If you wanted to control more than one, uh, more than one pump, then you can use dual channel relay module or like multiple channel relay modules. So here you can see VCC of the relay, I have connected it to the VCC of the Raspberry Pi Pico board, which is 3.3 volt. Here you can see I have connected it here. So this input pin, I have connected to the GPIO 15 of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So here I'm using the Raspberry Pi Pico board's digital pin in order to turn on and off the relay module. So basically relay module is a kind of a digital device. We need to turn it on and off. So that's why here I'm using the digital pin. So this is how we are going to connect the relay as well as the soil moisture sensor. Now we'll move on to the most important part of this project that is how to do the coding in, inside the Thony IDE. So here we are using the MicroPython. Okay, so we'll write the code from the scratch. I'll write here code from the scratch. So this is the code which I have already written, but I'll try to write this code from the scratch so, so that you all should understand how to write the code in MicroPython. So I'll create a new file and we'll start. So as I explained in my first episode that we need to import few libraries. So I'll import here from machine import pin comma ADC. Now here we have to import the ADC pins and I have already explained this in my second episode of this uh, series. So we need to import the ADC pin in order to read the analog data. Also we'll import the time here. 
in order to give the delay. Now we need to define the pins that we have used. So first I have used the relay and I have connected it to the digital pin 15. So I'll write that relay is equal to pin opening closing bracket and here I'll write pin number 15 comma pin dot so basically this pin is output pin so that's why I need to write out so this is how like we can able to define the pin inside the micro Python. now let's define the second pin that is analog pin that we have used here right so I'll write here soil moisture sensor so I'll write short form soil moisture underscore sensor is equal to pin sorry basically this is the ADC pin so I need to write here ADC and then inside it I need to write pin opening closing bracket and the GPIO that you have used so here I have used GPIO 26 so I'll write that now we have successfully defined the both the pins that we have used now now we'll start the loop for the code while true colon enter so here you can see thorny id automatically gives the indentation in the code now for the first experiment what i wanted to do here i wanted to read the analog data given by the soil moisture sensor and also i wanted to turn on and off the relay board in every one second so let's see how to do that so first of all we'll we'll write here print in order to print the data onto the shell we'll write here print and inside that print we'll write the variable name which is sm sensor here dot read dot u16 and opening closing bracket so so this command basically contains the data of the soil moisture sensor so here you can see how i have used this command so here the variable name that we have given which is sm sensor so sm sensor dot read dot u16 opening closing bracket now one more thing i want here to turn on and off the relay after every every second so for that what you have to do basically this is the digital pin so turn on the digital pin so turning on and off the digital pin how we can do that so i'll write here relay dot value and here we need to provide the value which is one so one means on so here our relay is turning on now the next thing what i'll do i'll give the delay so i'll write here time dot sleep sorry time dot sleep enter and once again just copy paste this thing here you need to provide the delay time which is like one second and copy paste this both the things control c enter and control v and now here let's make it zero that means we are turning off the relay so now let's see that we are able to see the data onto the shell as well as on the plotter and also we'll see whether the relay is turning on whether the relay is turning on or not so so now i have connected my raspberry pi pico board now i'll just save this file onto the raspberry pi pico and we'll see whether this project is working or not file save as save to the raspberry pi pico so i'll give the name like demo i'll write here relay underscore demo and i'll click on ok and now i have saved the file successfully and now i'll click on run let's see so there is an error in code let's see what is the error in code what i have done wrong So here you can see on the screen so here you can see on the screen that relay is turning on and off so this is my setup this is how it looks so this is the 
plant that I have used and this is the soil moisture sensor which is inside the soil here you can see now here you can see on the screen the data is printed now what I'll do I'll just go to the view and I'll just start the plotter I'll just click on plotter now you can see the soil moisture sensor data onto the graph as well so so now what I'll do I'll just try to remove the soil moisture sensor here you can see I have removed the soil moisture sensor and you can see the value is increased so once I insert the soil moisture sensor inside the soil you can see the value is decreasing now so basically this is how we can able to read the soil moisture sensors data so now based on this soil moisture sensors values we can able to create automation now what is that automation so here our main agenda is to build the smart plant watering system so now we'll we'll take the data of the soil moisture sensor here you can see when the soil moisture sensor is out of the soil then the value is like higher like the highest value you will get that means when the soil is dry you will get the highest value here you can see like six five five three five so this is the highest value you will get so once you insert this soil moisture sensor inside the soil the values are reducing if you can see on the screen so values are reducing now so i can see so if the value is like greater than six thousand uh, sixty thousand that means the soil is dry if the soil moisture sensor data is less than forty five thousand that means the soil is wet so we got the two values one is for dry soil and one is for the wet soil so based on these two values we can turn on and off the pump so let's see how we can able to do that so we need to do some amount of modification inside the code so we have to use the conditional statement so we'll use here conditional statement now so what i'll do here i'll just create one more variable which is moisture data moisture underscore data and i'll write is equal to and i'll use this thing sm sensor dot read underscore u16 let's copy this and paste it here correct so that means i am storing the soil moisture sensor data inside this variable called moisture data so here i'll create one conditional statement if this value moisture data is greater than we know that if it is greater than like again I, i'll just write here 60000 colon then what i want then i want it to turn on the pump because if the values are greater that means the soil is dry so what i'll do i'll use this thing relay dot i'll just enter and here we need to give the indentation as well yeah now once again i'll copy this thing and i'll click enter and i'll place it here here the indentation is wrong so i'll just make it like this yes now if the values are less than 45000 or i can say the 50000 i'll write here as of now i'll write just 50000 so at your case you have to calibrate the values using the soil moisture sensor so i'm just writing these values based on my experiment so here i'm just turning off the pump so let me connect the board once again and let's run the code executing the commands i'll just click on run so now you can see on the screen the setup here also so now you can see on the screen the relay is now turned on that means the soil because here you can see the data of the soil moisture sensor that is we are getting the more than 60,000 values so that's why the relay is turned on now what i'll do i'll just try to put my moisture sensor inside the soil and let's see whether it's turned on or not whether it's turned off or not here you can see it's turned off turn on turn off turn on i'm just removing and inserting the soil moisture sensor inside this soil so this is how we can able to create the automation of the smart plant watering system you just have to connect a pump here 
I haven't connected the pump. It's very simple. You just have to connect the pump with the battery and the relay. As, as simple as that. It's very simple. If you don't understand how you are going to connect the pump to the relay and the battery, please let me know inside the comment section. So this is all about the smart plant watering system using the Raspberry Pi Pico and the MicroPython. So I hope you found this video useful for you in your projects. So please do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.